Our daily Bible reading for May 18th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 8. We'll be reading verses 1 through 30. And they went each to his own house, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and placing her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? This they said to test him, that he might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin be among you to be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You are bearing witness about yourself, but your testimony is not true. <clears throat> Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. They said to him, therefore, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. These words he spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple. But no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. So he said to them again, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself, since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are from this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He who has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. Now some thoughts for today. There's perhaps no more humiliating circumstances than that of being caught red-handed in the act of deceit. One can only imagine that this is the case here as Jesus was teaching in the temple. The scribes and the Pharisees bring in a woman caught in the very act of adultery during the Feast of Tabernacles. They could hardly have been more insensitive to this woman. It would have been bad enough to be caught, but to have your sin paraded about as a case of entrapment to prove one's own superiority must have been simply unbearable. While it was true the law did command that a woman caught in adultery be stoned, for in Leviticus 20 verse 10 tells us, If there is a man who commits adultery with another man's wife, one who commits adultery with his friend's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. The Pharisee's intent was not justice here, but contempt. Many have commented at the fact that the partner of this crime was not also present to receive punishment, further making the case that this was only for sport, by the Pharisees. The Pharisees seem more concerned with their own piety than the soul of this woman. 
Some ancient commentators have Jesus pretending not to hear the accusers as he remained stooped over. Others have added speculation that what he was writing in the dust. However, nothing in the most reliable text adds more than he was simply bent over and letting the moment define itself and wisdom to be found in a patient reply. When pressed, his reply as he rises up is, He who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. By their reaction, the answer Jesus gave could not have been more stunning. Imagine that you were the last one to leave the circle of the accusers. It is interesting to note that it was the older of them that left first. Many will be willing to point the finger when wrongs are committed, yet few will be apt to roll up their sleeves and do the dirty work. Jesus' show of mercy towards this woman is a lesson we can all learn. It is also interesting to note his parting words to her. And straightening up, Jesus said to her, Woman, where are they? Did no one condemn you? And she said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, for now on, sin no more. And the question of the day, how would you have reacted had you been in the crowd that day? And a thought to meditate on this day, it is one thing to know when another does wrong, it is quite something else to be willing to guide them back on the right path. And those are our thoughts for today, May 18th.